hey everyone welcome back to another video for today's video i have a pretty exciting video i always say that all my videos are exciting because i just love my time here with you guys but today i have a sort of like a first impression testing out this house with me even though i do have one full size of it and i am talking about floral street so I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on Wonderland Peony and then I also picked up their sampler set. So I want to give my first impression on these fragrances and talk a little bit about the house because it is new to me. So before I get started, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on fragrance, beauty, body care, self-care. If you like all of that type of content, then please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you? Thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate all of the love and support. I have been seeing this house at Sephora's website and I have just been very curious about it and I have also been very into guava notes in my fragrances so I was doing a little bit of research I just came across this fragrance that has guava in it so I figured perfect this is my chance to try this house out but I did want to just kind of try out more of their fragrances so i went ahead and purchased the little sample set and this brings a ton of samples in here so let's go ahead and begin with the full size one their fragrances come packaged very different from your standard fragrances um it's like a little tray with a little band on it they are vegan and cruelty free sustainably sourced ingredients and recycled packaging so you have to take the little band out and then this slides off the packaging does get a little like dusty so you might have to clean your bottle off but here is the beautiful i think this bottle is gorgeous this is the back side of it and it comes with a cap which is very simple and this fragrance i sniffed it when i first received it but it's been so long since i picked it back up because i had it in my little haul bin so let's go ahead and let's go over the main accords for this one this is fruity floral fresh sweet woody rose tropical powdery caramel and amber the top notes are guava, red berries, and Sicilian lemon. Middle notes are raspberry bloom, peony, and violet. And the base notes are cotton candy, resins, vanilla, woody notes, cedar, and vetiver. Sounds so interesting to have cotton candy, vetiver, guava. It's just so much in one fragrance. But this fragrance is so pretty if you like peony and if you like guava this is a guava bomb the guava in this fragrance reminds me of the guava that is in mac candy yum yum and that one i really love that one but i had to declutter it because i don't know if it was the climate here or what but it just didn't work as nice here as what i remember it to be but the guava smells very similar to that fragrance but this one leans more on the sweet side sweet and fruity this is such a pretty fragrance if you just want to put something on to go to the mall which is one of my favorite things to do is go to the mall grab something to eat this is the perfect fragrance for that it's really nice i know that we're heading into fall right now but this is a really nice one to have for spring and summer and if you live somewhere like i do then you can use it pretty much all year but this is such a beautiful beautiful guava fragrance this is probably up there with my dylan turquoise fragrance when it comes to guava because i really pick it up it's really strong now dylan turquoise is going to be your guava mixed with citrus and fresh and this is going to be your floral sweet guava 
very girly very pretty if you like those fragrances that just make you feel like a girly girl very pretty girly this is the one this fragrance is beautiful now i haven't worn it so this is pretty much kind of like a first impression just telling you what i smell and how i like the fragrance but i definitely need to wear it and see how i feel about it so i will be updating you guys with this one but from the packaging to the juice inside this is a love at first sniff for sure now let's go ahead and let's try these little samples electric rhubarb so i'm gonna be putting pictures of the bottle throughout this video so this one already can be a yes or a no but i'm already very familiar with the rhubarb I actually enjoy it in fragrances so the main accords for electric rhubarb are white floral marine aromatic salty green fruity powdery floral woody and aquatic that sounds very unique so the top notes are rhubarb with white flowers middle notes are sea notes salt gardenia frangipani and jasmine sunback and the base notes are sandalwood and powdery notes this sounds like something that is not very common oh my god this is so nice and so I would probably put this in the category of aqua di joa where it's a little bit unisex but unisex that i like i wouldn't necessarily say that it's masculine but it's just not super feminine this is more of a clean fresh aquatic Ugh, i don't pick up too much rhubarb in this one let me see if i'm gonna spray some on my wrist to see how it smells on the skin Ooh, I picked up the the salt more on my skin this is really nice it's definitely to me an aquatic woody unisex fresh Yes, everything that the main accords are saying, marine, aromatic, the white florals in here help to just keep it clean, but it's not soapy clean to me. Wow, this is a really nice one. So electric rhubarb, it's it's just beautiful. I Yes, everything that it describes in the main accords, you get a little bit of green in there, salty, fresh. Imagine right now the only thing that's coming to my mind is like when you're on a boat and you're just getting that breeze from the ocean that just it's fresh, it's clean, it's crisp with a little bit of that saltiness in there and I'm very picky with salt notes because they do not they usually do not work on my skin. But this is nice. I might consider getting a bottle of this. Now let's move on to Neon Rose. So I'll be putting the picture up on the screen. And the main accords for Neon Rose are floral, fruity, rose, fresh, white floral, citrus, fresh, spicy, and aromatic. Let's look at the top notes. Apple Blossom, Bergamot, Cassis, and Sichuan Pepper. Middle notes are Rose, Egyptian Jasmine, Cycladin, Angelica, and Juniper Berries. And the base notes are Peach, White Cedar Extract, and Amber. I really like the notes that they use in these fragrances. They're just very, they're not your typical, you know, some fragrances just use the same things over and over. So I love when I see different notes. Wow very nicely blended fragrance do they say green in this one they don't mention green in the main accords but for some reason i got green from this one the rose in this one is the rose with the stem so you're getting the entire rose it's not just the rose petals it's not your like you know usually um like turkish rose or bulgarian rose it's not that type of rose it's literally 
a rose in the garden this is like if you walked to a garden and picked the rose like fresh and i can say that it's very nice very classy it's not too fruity it's not too sweet it's a fresh type of green rose you know what this is a more wearable version of flora botanica to me if you yes now that i keep smelling it actually i don't know i'm really liking this house you guys if you thought that flora botanica was a nice scent which i went through a whole bottle of it but it was kind of too strong for me the last time i tried it this is a softer a bit more fresh version of flora botanica like a little bit more watery if you have a chance to try this out or if you have tried it out let me know if you agree it has something that reminds me of flora botanica of course it's not a dupe for it but if you want something that's a little bit softer not as intense but you like the vibe of flora botanica it's this one because it's a freshly picked rose, but it's a little bit more on the dry side. Oh, it's nice. It's really, really nice. It has green to it. It's fresh. Really nice. I already know this one, and I didn't have an, a good experience with this one. So, this one is one that I have heard a lot of people talk about this one on YouTube. And this is one of the more popular ones that I have seen talked about and this is arizona bloom the main accords for arizona bloom are coconut musky sweet lectonic woody green amber salty fresh and vanilla the notes here are coconut musk salt fig leaf cashmere wood jasmine amber black pepper and oak moss now this one i was very curious about and i was about to buy the full bottle and i tried it out at sephora and my husband was waiting with the girls in the car because i was just gonna pick something up really quick so i sprayed this on my wrist paid for what i had to pay for went back to the car and when i sit down in the car my husband looks at me and he's like why do you smell like cigarettes and I'm looking at him like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I don't smoke. So I'm just looking at him like, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, you smell like if you just smoked. He knows that I always go into Sephora and I spray things in there. So he's like, did you try on like a perfume or something? And at first I was like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I'm like, oh my God, yes, it was such and such fragrance. And he's like, it smells like cigarette on you. Like on my skin, this smelled. And this is another one that has salt in it and salt fragrances don't tend to do good on my skin so i'm shocked that the other one smells good but this one when i tried it i didn't really pick up too much of the coconut this one reminds me of that vibe that nest sunkiss hibiscus has where it's a coconut but it's like a beachy like a musky coconut it reminds me of those vibes but on my skin this does not work i can see how many people would probably really really like it it's a beachy salty coconut but it does not work on me so i'm not even gonna try spraying this on my skin right now mm. I think I will just stick with my Nest Sunkiss Hibiscus because that one has a little bit more of a feminine touch. This one is just missing something for me. Next, let's go ahead and talk about, this is one that I'm very curious about, Wild Vanilla Orchid. This one, the main accords is vanilla, floral, woody, powdery, aromatic, soft, spicy, fresh, citrus, fruity, and green. Top notes are vanilla flower, cassis, and citruses. Middle notes are flowers, bamboo, and jasmine. And the base notes are vanilla bean, sandalwood, orchid, and patchouli. Okay. Mmm, wow. That's really nice. If you like vanilla, it's a little heady for me but this is a beautiful vanilla 
it's really nice that makes sense that makes a lot of sense i just looked at this rip perfume reminds me of section and they're saying that it reminds them of mark jacobs decadence which i know like what it has a touch of that but i don't get that weird like pickle smell that i get with the mark jacobs decadence this one's more like on the vanilla side but they are similar they're very similar they're not dupes for each other but they vibe the same i don't think i've ever come across a fragrance that reminded me so much of that one but in a good way because i decluttered mark jacobs decadence it just didn't work for me um just that weird like fruit gone bad or pickle type of smell i didn't like it the next one is chipra i'm probably killing that but chipra sublime and the main accords are rose, amber, warm, spicy, patchouli, fresh, spicy, woody, balsamic, aromatic, floral, and earthy. Top notes are geranium, incense, and pink pepper. Middle notes are damask rose, patchouli, and violet. And the base notes are olibanum, labdanum, and benzoin. Ooh. Benzoin. Benzoin is a could kill me sometimes benzoin could give me a massive headache in some fragrances mm. Mm -mm -mm. nope 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 no when it opened up it had potential like it, it smelled sophisticated classy definitely on the mature side um this is like for a boss woman but it got heady literally like five seconds after this would be unbearable for me this would be so unbearable for me it's i can see how some people would like this but no and the patchouli in here is actually really nice i'm not a fan of patchouli like that i have learned to appreciate it and i've learned that some fragrances absolutely need patchouli but there's something in here it's probably the geranium the pink pepper those top notes i would have to i don't want to try it on my skin you guys because i'm probably going to end up with a headache but i might play with it later on and see if it changes on my skin yeah no let's move on to the next one the next one is black lotus and the main accords are leather, rose, warm, spicy, musky, soft, spicy, and malic, sweet, amber, cherry, and floral. Top notes are saffron, pink pepper, and sour cherry. Middle notes are may rose and black violet. And the base notes are leather, labdanum, patchouli, and musk. This is another one that could be good or really bad. This is seductive. Why do I picture like a dominatrix type of woman? Wow. It's sensual, it's sexy, it's deep, it's like erotic. It's almost like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's very like that sour cherry, the saffron. And the leather is, I get a lot of the leather in this one. This is definitely, I can appreciate it. And maybe in a few years I would be into something like this, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Leather is something that I'm not a fan of too much. But I can say that this is a very nicely, like a well-made perfume you know when something is blended nicely and when you can appreciate a fragrance even if it's not for you like this if you like your tobacco if you like your spicy if you like your woody earthy type of fragrances this is animalic to me like this is just you definitely pick up the leather more than anything i don't know it's something that maybe like in winter time would be a nice fragrance but it's not something that i gravitate towards but it is like a 
it's in your face type of fragrance an attention grabber and it's for a woman who is just very confident in herself and just she wants to just do her thing okay this one is ylang-ylang espresso Ooh, i'm excited okay the main accords are coffee sweet warm spicy woody yellow floral fresh spicy cacao vanilla rose and patchouli the top notes are rose sichuan pepper tangerine middle notes are ylang ylang tiramisu patchouli and jasmine and the base notes are coffee whipped cream cacao and guayac wood Man, I hope this is a good one because it sounds really good. Oh my. For my gourmand lovers. Oh my god. Mm, this is like coffee dessert sweet from the whipped cream this is beautiful this is beautiful but you have to like gourmands if you don't like your gourmands you're not gonna be into this because it's it's a rich creamy coffee almost like a moussey from the from the tiramisu let me click on it sweet and gourmand smells it doesn't really tell you anything else but yes i get like a moussey texture from this creamy oh my god this is nice i get chocolate mixed with coffee but then the rose and the ta the tangerine the patchouli the ylang ylang it helps to give it kind of like a little bit of brightness so that it's not so sticky and cloying. You know, it's beautiful, beautiful. Wow. I need to try that one on my skin. Hmm. On my skin, I pick up a little bit more like chocolate. It's not as amazing as on the test strip. On the test strip, I get a little bit more of the florals and the patchouli and stuff on my skin. It's just pulling the chocolate and the coffee and not giving me the complexity of the other notes. But it's still nice. It's still really nice. Okay, I got four favorite ones. Well, Wonderland Peony, I already have the full size, so you guys know that I like this one. But out of the ones that I never tried before, I would definitely say that I am interested in these and possibly getting a full size. And it is electric rhubarb, beautiful, fresh aquatic marine type of fragrance. Neon Rose, Neon Rose was like Flora Botanica but a little bit less intense so I definitely wanna try this one out. Then there's Wild Vanilla Orchid and then Ilang Ilang Espresso. Those four are the ones that I would possibly look into owning a full size of. So definitely, I'm going to be linking this from Sephora if you want to play around with this house, if you want to get to know it. It's a very nice way to get familiar with fragrances without having to buy a full size bottle. So this video is going to be a little bit long, but we did try out a lot of fragrances here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below if any of you guys own any of the fragrances in this house, which ones you think sound good, uh, if any of them caught your eye. I will be chatting with you guys in the comment section. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video.